advantage. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know. High speed Wi-Fi, not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. everybody today is baby blue day and baby pink day mm -hmm. and there's a reason baby pink baby blue mm -hmm. guess it's a what? mystery it's a mystery it's a mystery mm -hmm. there Vote was now. a gender a gender reveal today and this morning I got to be part of a gender reveal for my newest grandchild we're not going to tell you what it was yet but we're going to let you guess during the day because we might talk a little of this and a little of that I'm all baby blue you're all baby pink, and you'll just have to figure it out. And, you know, when you think about names today in gender reveal, there are girls' names who can be boys' names. There are boys' names. Mm -hmm. Remember when Hunter was just a boy's name, mm -hmm. and now many girls are hunters. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very weird how names are doing their thing. And, you know, of course, as a grandmother, I would want my name to be incorporated in it, I don't even want it in there because I don't like my name and it wouldn't work for a boy. Well, so. your two favorite uh, names are Elizabeth and Taylor. <laughs> yes, yes, that's right, Elizabeth so, Taylor. Yeah. If, it, right. if it were to be a girl, <laughs> yeah. Elizabeth Taylor. Yeah, yeah. And Taylor's a very popular name. Yes, it is. it is, yes, it is. Or if it were to be a boy, it could be McKinley Taylor uh -huh. because I love McKinley. I had an uncle McKinley who was the handsomest dude. Isn't there a male Let McKinley me tell you how handsome, how handsome he was. Tell me. Almost as handsome as the sheriff of Cherokee County. Well, that's... And I have to say to our Frank Reynolds sheriff, he not only is a fantastic sheriff, he's a fantastic person. The video that he did about going in and not being yes. afraid was done over a year ago, and it's had so many hits on um, the internet. It's starting to say on YouTube. I, I, it probably is on YouTube. But he is a hands-on sheriff, and to Frank Reynolds, we love you and we appreciate yes, you. We and do. you know, Donnie Craig, same thing, Pickens County, on hand, they are doing it. That's what it's about. You know, it's not about standing back and waiting and watching. It's about getting the job done. Well, you know. And can we do a shout out to our favorite DQ? Hey, AJ. Yay, hey, we AJ. love you, AJ. We had to go get some tea before we came on the air. We both needed to be caffeinated today. <laughs> I had a little disaster this morning when I went to get in the car there was something mm. dead laying Ugh. well there was part of something parts of something dead laying near my car and I was like oh gross I could have lived the rest of my life <laughs> not seeing it not seeing those so pictures yeah. so and I, I can't Ugh. even guess what it I'm was I'm getting cold chills yeah that was pretty bad <laughs> And I've been brought half a rabbit before. My cat loves yes, me. You yes, know, I know. I'm not uh, I know. unfamiliar with I know. grody things, but that was pretty bad. Well, today, you weren't with me last week, but I was fortunate enough to do um, a, um, a, I guess it's twice a year they do an event for some very special friends here mm -hmm. in Gilmer County. And some of them actually go to the Burnt Mountain Center, and I knew some of them, and I loved sitting with Margaret Sanford. I love you, and I'm so thankful for you. And, and, and um, you know, I got to be there, and I got to witness firsthand, up close and personal, 
some older gentlemen, and I'll just say older, because when you're that much older than me, you're an older gentleman, some really sweet older gentlemen, Ed Forrester and Vic Davis, who have been icons of music in this community for many, 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 many years. We won't say which one of them is 88 and which one of them is 86. That's a lot of minis. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just say they're older dudes. But their young person, Dwight Sanford, was with them. And it's so funny because he said, well, me and Ed has been playing together since 1974. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And he said the first heart fund he went to that he remembered Vic Davis was 1965. How about that? So his mom <coughs> instilled that love for music in him when he was a young, young child. And Ed, not to say that Ed's the oldest of the group, but sweet Ed said, I might have waited too late to do a CD. He did the CD while he was in his 80s. And I don't know why, if you've been playing with Waylon and playing with Kenny Rogers, and somewhere in your life you didn't think, well, maybe I ought to do a CD. He didn't do a CD for a long time, and then he went to his friend, Dwight Sanford, Mr. Ella J, and he said, I think I want to do a CD in his 80s, and he did it. So, magical, magical yeah. music. It's never too late to live your dream. That's so right. Ed now has a CD, and he's, if you know him, I only knew him from the trucking business because J.S. knew him, and I came up here with J.S. a few times to meet him and, and talk to him. I don't even know if it were, we were talking about parts or tires. Or, I don't know what we were talking about, but, but it was weird. I just thought he was a trucker, and then he shows up with this guitar, and I'm like, what? And everybody said, do you not know about his music? Well, I didn't know about the song Ella J, so obviously I didn't know about Ed Forrester. I wasn't very informed, and it was, it was so cute, though, last Thursday night. They had a ball. Not half as many people were there because it was that stormy night. Do you remember mm. Thursday oh, night? Oh, yeah, I do. It was stormy. And so some people didn't come, but it was just sweet fellowship and, and sweet. And these guys do this twice a year for special friends. And so a shout out to the band, and, and uh, we're going to share some pictures now with y'all of the band as they played that night, and, um, and some antique cars, because I went to a car show, and I've got, I've got two prayer requests today. Number one, Selena had number nine chemo. So please, please, please pray for her. And my dear friend, Ray DeLuca, we have been friends since 1974. Y'all think about that. That's a long, long time. He is battling cancer again and having chemo again, but he is there doing maintenance, and so it's going to be good. It's prostate. It's that old nasty stuff that you, cancer is just nasty. But he's encouraged, and he's working every day and staying busy, and he's, he and his beautiful wife Paula were um, volunteers extraordinaire for 50 years in the community, and they've been given an award. Just great, great people. But... I got to see him at the car show. So if we can share those pictures. Um, the, <clears throat> the car show, I went specifically looking for a 66 Chevelle. There were none there. There was one Chevelle and it was yellow with black. Okay, tell folks what I painted my front door yesterday. Yellow. Tell folks the colored trim I want. Black. <laughs> so yellow and black Chevelle parked in the driveway, wouldn't that be good? But <laughs> anyway, it was the wrong year. And I just got tickled because I was looking around and I thought, well, where are all the Chevelles? Well, there were some really cool Corvettes and there were some really cool GTXs and there was a really cool Roadrunner, but there weren't any Chevelles. So I don't know what happened. I don't know if everybody up here in Gilmer County has hit them out in Barnes Probably. because there are a mm -hmm. lot in Gilmer mm -hmm. County, but in Cherokee County, not so much. So, but I had a good time. Got to see Ray, got to spend some time, and this was a benefit for the Shriners of Cherokee County. And can you describe that slaw that we had? Delicious. The Superb. best slaw really, really I good. ever put in my mouth. It was as good as Doreen Lee's. That's like ginormous good. That's yeah, like the best good. good ever. So, and you know, girls like to cook based on what they remember as children. Mm -hmm. Your grandmother was a fantastic cook. Yeah, she was. I wish I'd paid closer attention. But you said sometimes I cook like your granny. Well, yeah, very good. Yeah, it's I just, use grease. Well, <laughs> and you, you, you do it from memory. You don't use a measuring cup and measuring spoons. Oh, I don't Lord cook no. without a measuring cup and measuring spoons because yeah. otherwise it would be really bad. But when you cook, you cook well. 
you just don't cook often. There's a difference. Cook well, cook often. <laughs> No, you only know about the times I cook well because that's the only time I ever tell you or share oh, it with Lordy. you. Yeah. Well, we, we might have had a little sweet potato souffle last week. A little. A little. And, and some cobbler. And we had a little sweet potato cobbler last week, but I didn't taste the cobbler, but she said it was good. You know, the, to the last drop. I think the, <laughs> the best bites were the one in the middle of the night, you know, standing in the refrigerator door. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. there's something I mean, it's good hot too, but yeah, cold, I, yeah. I can't. You yeah, know. and you can thank Bob Reese for that because I have never liked making sweet potato cobbler. Thank you, Bob Reese, wherever you are. Thank but you. Bob Reese loves my sweet potato cobbler, and he asked at one of the benefits we did if I would make sweet potato cobbler. I always made him peach. And I said, of course I will for you. Well, if you've ever peeled a bunch of sweet potatoes to make a big old cobbler, that's a pain in the you rear. You when we <laughs> transported those big, uh -huh. huge, And your car smelled like it. Yeah. It didn't yeah. smell bad, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I think you complained about so, my driving. It wasn't my driving. No, it wasn't your driving. Well, can we share the photos now of the guys? Because we have, um, I, I want to do a shout out for them before we go to a song that we want to, we will want to really feature this song because it was written okay there's my two old gentlemen older gentlemen I didn't say old older precious precious Vic Davis who you all remember from here at ETC he was one of the Davis Brothers show that started here at ETC for years and years and years they've been bringing mountain music to you from the heart fund benefits to many other benefits doing for others and there's the baby of the bunch there's Dwight Sanford it was just, it was a really, really cool night. And uh, we've got some other pictures of the whole band. That one I love. I love that picture because you talk about respect for the for those gentlemen. There's such great respect there and uh, just precious, precious. Now uh, there's, there's, there's the Chevelle and there's the color of my door and there's the color of the trim. And I just think that's a beautiful Chevelle. What do y'all think? I think it's pretty cool. I've always said I'd never have a yellow car, but I kind of like that My car. My very first car was a yellow car. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. But anyway, big shout out to the Shriners down in Canton. They did a great job with this benefit. They raised a lot of money, and the barbecue was great, but the slaw was over the top great. It so was. whoever made that slaw, you did a great job, ladies. Yes, you did. And, um, and it's giving back, and that's what our communities do. Our communities are known for giving back. Well, there's a gentleman here in town who gives back, gives back, gives back, gives back. When he does benefit shows, he actually gives the money to the Shriners. And that's one of the things I really, really like about him. He is giving and doing for others. And that's what life's supposed to be about. You know, it's supposed to be about sharing and doing. And if you have something, I'm good at cooking, so I like to share my cooking. I like to talk and I've talked to women about being battered and abused and treated badly and lived there, been there, done that. Um, it's easy to talk about it if you've lived through it. And so well, it's not easy to talk about, but it's uh, easy to try to help somebody else. It's important, yeah, to try to help situation. somebody. Yeah. And I think once my daughter committed suicide, then it really made me understand. I, I talked to a lady in New Jersey the other day who said, I just lost my daughter and I don't know how to deal with this and I said you have to do it one moment at a time not one day at a right. time one moment yeah. at a time and she said I don't know if I can live through this I said yes you can it's been nine years and I made it and I didn't think I was gonna make it but our viewers our friends our neighbors got me through the toughest times and you continue to you know to bless us and I want to read something I think I read this a week or so ago but I want to go over it again because I now have Three surgeons lined up. I'm getting excited because we're getting down to the wire. We're getting down to the cutting. But we have three specialists, and I am have an appointment today at 2 o'clock. She and I are going to leave here, and we're going to fly down the road. No, Frank Reynolds, you didn't hear me say that. <laughs> we're going to go down the road at 55 miles. Or yeah. No, we're not. <laughs> Maybe 54, possibly. Yeah, yeah, right. Anyway. Praying for medical problems to be resolved. Praying for Jen to bounce back. Jen, I love you and I hope you're going to be bouncing back soon. Praying for sweet Selena who had number nine chemo yesterday. That's a, a milestone. Praying for tomorrow to be the first day of the best of my life. God is good. I will never ever fall into a hole filled with sadness. I will walk tall in gladness. Well, as tall as short and dumpy me can walk, and I got measured the other day, and I'll be darned if I'm not an inch and a half shorter than I used to be. 
That's crazy. I used to be 5'5". Five, five. I'm 5'3 five, and a half now. Well, you just have to start wearing heels again. Well, I do. I'm going to have to do that. <laughs> I'm going to sit up straight. So it was crazy. But anyway, today, another doctor's appointment. I'm, your prayers are working. I'm, I'm going to be fine. I just have some slicing and dicing and getting done. And again, to everybody, please, if your church has a prayer line, if you have a prayer list, please share my sister Lila. We both have appointments on June the 8th. We both have the same symptoms and it was so weird. Last night we were going through our symptoms and she said, we're not twins, why is this happening? And I said, I know it's so strange. But we both have appointments with the doctors on June the 8th and she said, how weird is this? I said, it's too weird, it's really too weird. So, so anyway, say so a prayer for my sister Lila Paget. She lives down in Claremont, Florida, and I wish we could be closer to each other, but I ain't going to Florida, and she can't come to Georgia, so we'll just have to suffer through it. Okay, we're going to go to a song that I want to share because I got permission to, I recorded this just sitting there <clears throat> after band practice one night, and I said, that's pretty good. And he said, no, no. <laughs> and I said, can I have permission to play it? I got permission, so here you go. Sit back and enjoy. This is a local song written by a local writer and a producer, this and you're going to get to enjoy song, Dwight Sanford doing one of it's his favorites. Baby Blue, and it's a little tribute to okay. one of my favorite bands called Badfinger, and the things I've seen unfold right here in my hometown. Welcome to the Dwight House. <laughs>
whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories, writing a great American novel, or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know. High speed Wi-Fi, not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. We're back. Okay, do you think people are voting pink? Do you think they're voting blue? I don't know. Uh, what do you think? I mean, odds are there are more girls in the world than there are boys. Well, I think it's 50-50. It's 50 either 50 a girl or, or a boy. It's a boy. <laughs> That's right. And there's no. So. And I'm looking on our set. There's some blue. There's some blue. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some pink. pink. Okay. Uh, not much pink on this set, so I don't know who's going to win Vote on this now, one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So send me, get on Facebook and send me a message and say, hey, Sherry, I don't know what flavor baby it's going to be, but I'm thinking it might be a girl. Dawn kept saying, oh, it's a girl because the way she's carrying it. I kept saying it's a boy because she just looks big as a bear. But Dawn was a 10 pound baby girl. And her dad walked into the room and said, well, what was it? I said, oh, it's a boy. It weighed 10 pounds. And he came back from the nursery and he said, well, there's just a little girl down there. You sure it was a boy? I said, yeah, it was 10 pounds. <laughs> it was a girl. Well, this must have been the days when they were still giving you medication. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It was crazy. But, um, you know, um, Ansley's mom literally died and bled out on the table. Mm at 21 years old and they brought her back with 11 units of blood and I stood there with the pastor of Cool Springs Baptist Church as they gave me the news that my daughter had passed away and they were bringing her back. You talk about a weird thing. And I'd forgotten about that till this morning Dawn was telling the doctor about that and said she was born premature and she told me what it was that Dawn had. <clears throat> and she said, I had an emergency hysterectomy on the table after I bled out. It was horrible. So childbirth is still very dangerous. It can be. Yes, it's very yes, dangerous. Yes. And she, thank God for the doctors at Crawford Long Hospital in Atlanta because they saved Dawn's life. And I don't know how much blood your body has, but they had to give her 11 units immediately. And she was gone. She was blue. It was, it was over. And God brought her back. So this is a verse that I think today is very appropriate because the gift of life, I'm leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. Ansley's a nervous wreck because knowing that her mother's birth for her was very 
hard. I wouldn't tell that story anymore. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and Don, Don was telling her this morning while they're doing the sonogram, and I'm like, oh, maybe not, maybe not. <laughs> maybe, maybe you don't want to do that. But, but you just, it's all in God's plan. And Ansley is here, healthy, and um, she was a tiny, tiny little baby. She was in the neonatal unit for two months. And the only good thing about her being in the neonatal unit, and Don will attest to this, is right down the street from the varsity. And That's so, yeah, so they would go to the varsity and they would go to the neonatal unit daily to see that baby. Yeah. And uh, it was tough. It was well, tough. Well, you remember my friend Amy in Pennsylvania when she had the twins. Oh, my gosh. And yes. little Jude had, yeah. you know, he's, he was in there, oh, I forget how long, but now, six months. Now, if it were twins, time. you could have a boy and a girl. You could be, yeah. So we got Maybe baby blue twins. and baby pink. Yeah. yeah. She's, big as, yeah. <laughs> She's big as a bear. Yeah. She's big as a bear. behind there. I love that they saw the hair and that you could see it has hair and daddy had head full of black hair and sadly um, he passed away on April the 3rd mm, from complications sad. from being a severe diabetic mm -hmm. and um, good guy, really, really good guy and um, that's going to be hard to deal with because um, his mother was gorgeous. I loved Lucy. She was so beautiful and she's gone to be with the well, Lord. this baby's mama is so beautiful. Right. This child will come from a line of beauty. Yeah, yeah. So it'll be a yeah. Beautiful and life. and because we named her Ansley Elizabeth, it's always just been she just has that. People used to tell me when she worked over here at the Mexican restaurant how beautiful she was. She never wore wore makeup. She was just naturally beautiful, which is something we don't know much about. We got to pull the makeup. I paint this old barn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, but I just, I pray that this child will be the beginning of a new life, a good life, and that um, God has a very perfect plan. So, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Well, we shared some photos of a couple of gentlemen, and I'm going to share a song by one of them. Um, I, I don't understand why, if you've been in the music business or loved music and had a band since the 70s, because Dwight actually played... He played drums for Ed Forrester's band in the 70s, and Ed didn't ever do a CD till just recently. So I have a copy of that CD, and so we're going to be able to share a song called Family Bible. And we all have a family Bible. Normally, the Bible lady walks in with a Bible. But today, we're going to share a little message of the family Bible. I have that beautiful antique Bible that I just, I love that Bible, and I just, I'm fascinated by it. And when you think about how many years those words have rung true. Well, and they're under attack today. Absolutely. There are, and, and they're not new arguments. They're old arguments. But I had the conversation with somebody not long ago that people are, are drug into different organizations, different cults, different um, ways of thinking on a very superficial le level. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. they'll say, well, you don't, you don't think it's right to do X, Y, Z. Well, of course not. And they use, you know, very, um, they, don't, they don't go into depth with their, I'm trying to be diplomatic here. And yeah, it's start hard. Anything, you it's know? hard, yeah. Uh, but, and they, well, of course, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook up with their ideology because of course I agree with that and they are supporting evil on a very superficial level and they don't understand that they're supporting mm -hmm. evil mm -hmm. because what they are supporting <coughs> good, you know, love and tolerance and all these things and uh, which is fine. We all agree that's important and, and mm -hmm. it's good to do, but it's what's underneath this, like an iceberg. There's mm -hmm. a lot floating underneath mm -hmm. that you don't mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. and it's the same with this attack on the Word of God and there's the scholarship is out there you know, but there, I, I watch, you know me, I watch a lot of YouTube, I yeah. watch a lot of documentaries yeah. Yeah. and all this kind of stuff. <coughs> and the Word of God is once again, and what the, the arguments that the atheists or the non-believers will put out there, they sound really good. And these are very intellectual people making these arguments. And it sounds really convincing on the surface. And people just, okay, well, the Bible's not the Word of God, really. So, boom, you know. We're not going to fool with it. Yes, I believe in God. And some mm -hmm. will even say, yes, I believe in mm -hmm. Jesus, but I don't believe the Bible is the Word of God. Well, it's been proven. Yeah. You know, it's been the bestseller <coughs> of all yeah. time for over 3,000 years. You know, th things like that. They Older than me. 
Al almost, almost, almost older than you. And you know, those things, they, they stand the test of time. The scholarship is out there. There is more evidence, I mean, hard copy evidence uh, for the Bible, particularly um, the New Testament, but there's quite a lot on the Old Testament mm -hmm, too, mm -hmm. you know? And Jesus himself validated the Old Testament, so that's kind of a, you know, stick yeah, a fork in it. It's hard to, yeah. But yeah, it's, it's, we need to defend the Word of God mm -hmm. because it truly is the Word of God, and He has not changed His mind. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Mm -hmm. And when you were reading that earlier, you know, He said, I will, today, these days, mm -hmm. these are hard days. <coughs> and that the school shooting, all the things, you know, yep. people, everybody I talk to, they're just sad, they're depressed. And it's like, you know, take heart. He's, he's still with us. He's not going anywhere. He's with us until the end of the earth, until the end of this age. You know, we've looked, um, I haven't watched much of the television, the broadcasting about the funerals of the children oh, and the teachers. Oh, I can't, I can't. I, I can't do it. But I think about those communities. Do you think now that we're going to be praying for our nation. We're going to be praying more. I think that sometimes when something horrific happens, it's like 9-11. We came together as a nation again. I think we're going to come together as a nation again. Unfortunately, I, I don't know that that will happen because so. this nation is so divided and it's divided on purpose. It is not unplanned. What's, what's mm -hmm. going on, if you, if you pay attention, it's very obvious we're being divided on purpose and we just got to wake up and how and sad come back together under God's word mm -hmm. but you know um, one of the first questions well if there is a God why would he let such a horrible thing mm -hmm. happen and uh, you know people threw God out a long time ago mm -hmm. and now you want to talk about if there is a God why would yeah. you do this yeah. you don't you <coughs> don't serve him you don't let him in the schools, you don't That's him one in the of the government. things I was going to say on Facebook. Somebody said that very sentence, and it said, and, and we took him out of the schools, we took him out of public buildings. We no longer display the Ten Commandments on, on courthouse squares like we used to. We, we did it. We allowed it to happen. We let somebody out in California tell us how we were going to live our lives, and that's totally crazy. But we allowed that and we have to stop it. It's time to slam the brakes on. And stop letting people who are involved in evil tell us we are evil mm -hmm. because we don't like evil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know? yeah. He I can tell you about evil. I, I know Satan up close and personal. He attacks, he attacks, he attacks, he attacks. Well, I think, you know, one of the best things we could do, and this is gonna sound weird doing a television show, but one of the best things that could happen to this country or Turn even off the, the world, media. Turn, turn off, off the, the media, media. Particularly but not the this news. media. Yeah, keep this one. Keep this one. <laughs> yeah, this is a this good media. one. This is a keeper. Not this media. But in, in, in all the seriousness, turn off the news. Turn off the news. And you were talking about, you know, community. That's when communities come together. Mm -hmm. We've been so mm -hmm. divided. We go in, close our garage doors, isolate ourselves from our neighbors, you know, da 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 da. And, and watch the news, and it is depressing, yeah, yeah. and it is scary. It's yep. very, very frightening, because there are truly frightening <coughs> things happening. But, but if, you, if you're not doing that, then you can give your time to the community, and those right. little children, have you seen oh the man gosh. in the community who's providing the custom caskets for those Unbelievable. babies? Unbelievable, yes, it is. You know, there are still more good people out there yeah. than yeah. there are bad, yeah. but it's hard to believe because the focus, you know, remember that old Johnny Cash song? What? Uh, bad news travels like wildfire, and good news travels slow. Mm -hmm. And that's why they call me wildfire, because mm -hmm. everybody knows I'm bad news. Mm -hmm. And it's true. It's a phenomena that's always happened throughout history. Bad news sells. Mm -hmm. Or, mm -hmm. you know... Um, Shock factor. Did yeah. You, did you notice when we went to the movies, the chewing gum commercial? No. It was so vulgar. No. It was a chewing gum I didn't pay attention. commercial. Well, good. I'm glad you didn't because it was, I'm like, are you kidding me? So, you know, the things that are being pumped out to our children, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you really, you have to protect them. Well, I think this is a perfect time to go back to your roots are in Gilmer County. Your daddy was from Gilmer my, County. My daddy was. My grandpa was a circuit riding preacher in 
And when we think about our roots came from these mountains, even me as a city slicker who grew up in the city, my roots came out of Dawson County. The mountains were full of music. And I think that one of the things that gets me through the day, the moment, the hour <clears throat> is a great song. And sometimes it's a sad song, sometimes it's a happy song, but you weren't around when I had the Barker Brothers do the jingle to start Heart of the Home. And I said, I want it to be peppy and snappy and I want people to say, oh, that lady's on, run to the TV and, and let's watch. And that was very important to me because I wanted people to have a good feeling mm -hmm. about the music that brings them out of their kitchen and sits them down in front of their TV. So today, I'm looking at these mountains that we're surrounded from Copper Hill to McKaysville. So many great musicians. I'm thinking Bobby Don Bloodworth up in McKaysville area. The Barkers up in Copper Hill. Ella J Mountains are full of Barry Abernathy, Barry Scott, Floyd Scott, the amazing talent that came out of these mountains. I would love to have a place to display all of that and to bring the mountain music. Because if you're walking around the square, and you know this in ball ground, somebody pays to have music pumped into our little town. Mm -hmm. And the lady chose the music. Well, I would choose that peppy little country, bluegrass, gospel. I would choose a totally different variety for these mountains. And I would love for people to walk around to LJ and hear some snappy little music that reminds you of these mountains. And the, the picking and the banjos and the all the great instruments that you just know, fiddle playing, you know. Well, and come, and to, come to Ella J for that. The, the the impact that the hillbilly music had on the blues oh, yeah. and jazz. Yes. And, uh, you know, there the variety is out there. Yeah. yeah. And I think we need to be sharing it. And as I got out of my car yesterday in ball ground and I'm listening to the music and I'm thinking we're missing this in Ella J because we need to focus on, and, and I can, Ralph Chancy, oh my God, what an amazing, amazing family, what an amazing man, he's gone to be with Jesus. You know, we think about all these that are gone, but we have the ability to still play their music because of old cassettes, eight tracks, DVDs. Um, and new, you even have a cassette player now. I do, but it doesn't play. <laughs> we can't figure out how to make the CDs play no, in the it. CDs don't play. CDs we don't know about don't the cassettes. Play. Yeah, the that's cassettes. right. We'll test it. We don't have any cassettes. But there's there's something about the music does set the tone. And so if people are walking around the square in LJ, don't you want them to have a little snap yeah. well music little... is like laughter it's a universal language absolutely everybody understands music and it's it's uh very like you said set the tone yep yep yeah. it does it's, it does i got tickled one day i was coming to work and i was playing angel spirit a lot and i was you know praying for selena and da 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 da, da. and then one day i played a tammy Wynette, and it was your good girl's gonna go bad <laughs> <laughs> and i thought Oh, heck. <laughs> memories, memories. And I called Selena and I said, oh, Lord, I'm just about, you know, but, but the music does set the tone. So right now we're going to share, and I want you to think about your family Bible. What does it mean to you? Sit back and listen to our friend Ed Forrester, who is a very young, I think he's 88, but we won't say that too loud, but he, he's just precious. And everybody, when I messaged that I had some pictures of him and I got to see him saying, Everybody said, oh, you should go over to his place. He's got this amazing music museum in his house. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe one day I'll go there. But we're going to take you now to a song that was produced by Dwight Sanford, and he did the magic behind the music of putting together something for his friend who is in his upper 80s. And I don't know why he waited so long to do a CD, but he did. So here we go.
Like, okay. Yay. Okay, that was local resident Ed Forrester, who has been in the trucking business all of his life, and that was produced by Dwight Sanford. And I love that song. Now, that um, good. It, it was one of those, I think it's perfect for the day. It's just perfect for today. When we think about the hard times, the sad times, the funerals, the, the, the losing loved ones, you go to your Bible and you find something that gets you through those moments into Ann Kramer, the loss of your oh, mom. Yeah. Ann, we love you. I'm praying for you. I hope that Lee gets better. She has been through so much, but she is such a prayer warrior for others. She really is. She is such an amazing, amazing lady. And I had, I, I sent her mom a beautiful card that she never got because she had transferred to another hospital. But I, I hand wrote her a message. And that's something we forget to do. We forget to let people know that we love them. We forget to say, I love you. We forget to say, I appreciate you. We forget to, you know, we forget to do that. But today when I found out what my new grandbaby was, I thought, I couldn't share it with anybody any better. And because she's got on pink, I've got on baby blue. We just thought this is the perfect combination. So in a little bit, we're going to tell you what the baby is. But right now, we're going to share some photos. I want you to see me and Ed Forrester. And it was so funny because I just, he didn't, you know, I just knew he was a trucker. I didn't know about his history. And when Rena Kirk and, and Randy were telling me, oh, you need to get, there he is. And uh, bless his heart, he is, uh, He's older than I am. He's a good bit older than I am. But he's such a sweetheart and just loves music and loves giving back. And there's my dear, dear friend, Ray DeLuca, who y'all please pray for Ray. If you've ever been to a car show in North Georgia, we've been buddies since 1974. He is, he is in the fight again with that dadgum chemo coming on for about every three months. He's got to get these tests done and darn it, darn it, darn it, cancer. But I love him and I, I love and appreciate both of them. And you know, when we think about the people in our lives that make a difference and it does make a difference. You know, I think that Miss Deborah moving to the community has been almost like a prescription for her because she's involved in more things, doing things. When she was up at Bent Tree, she wasn't quite the she's she's a she's bubbly and, and into everything and enjoying life. And I think that sometimes God puts you in a place that you're like, I didn't see that coming, you know? But, but a lot of times um, you can make a difference in somebody's life. So today, if you can make a difference in somebody's life, I think you need to. If you can volunteer your time, if you can give of your heart, um, you do a Bible study every other Tuesday mm -hmm. with some friends and they live in Gilmer County and they're in their 80s. Mm -hmm. And it's important for y'all to get together. It's it's a big oh, deal. We are yeah. our church. Yeah. Right. None right. of us attend a um, what we would call regular church. You know, we just we couldn't find a home church that fit. Mm -hmm. But together, we fit very nicely. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we study the word. We bear one another's burdens. We pray. We do communion. It's it's our church, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it's very important to me. So important right. that I told my mom, "Don't schedule me to drive you on, on Tuesday." The, on that Tuesday, mm -hmm. it's every other Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the other Tuesday, yeah, we can do that. Now you've got to take your mom again. Can we mm -hmm. share a little bit about what she goes through? And it makes me hurt to see it or think about it, but she has some eye work that you have to sit and watch your mama get done and i just cringe yeah well this is a, a perfect example of how god heals through the medical profession mm -hmm. because um it started out with macular degeneration eight years ago mm -hmm. and it was diagnosed and she had to is have that heredity no okay it's one of those they don't okay i guess they'd call it idiopathic they don't really know yeah. who or where or why but it's bleeding, you know, mm -hmm. behind the retina of the eye, and it, it gets complicated. And she was accepted into a study for a new uh, treatment mm -hmm. for macular degeneration. And you don't know if you received the placebo or the real trial drug. We're pretty sure she got the real trial drug mm -hmm. because it was miraculous because she was literally, with macular degeneration, there's a round black spot. You can see peripherally, mm -hmm. but you can see she, anyway, mm -hmm. in her case, was totally blind in that circle in the center of her eye, mm -hmm. had totally lost her vision. Wow. And after one injection, boom, she got her sight back. 
That's, that's a God crazy. Thing. So, yes. Yeah, God yes. does work through doctors. Yeah. He absolutely does. Yeah. Uh, and since then, after a number of years of the injections, uh, at one time it was one eye, at one time it was both eyes. And it's, you know, it's very stressful. And your eye with a needle. And then she had Ooh. glaucoma, Ooh. and she's had a little, I actually got to see the stent through the little thing, the microscope, my, whatever that thing is they look through. Wow. The little stent that they put in her eye for the glaucoma. And she's doing well, but she's, you know, not perfect, mm -hmm. but given all of the circumstances. She still drives, which yeah. is amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Makes her a little bit nervous, uh -huh. but she can usually tell if she's having a bleed because v her vision changes. Speaking of making somebody nervous, <clears throat> sometimes I drive fast. <laughs> and she holds on to the dash, and there is something. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes she has no gas in her tank either. And we, you know, I'm doing we, go, better. we go fast to the gas station so that we don't run out. I'm if I better. had a nickel for every time I had all balled up going to the gas station with you, oh, Lord. I'd buy a new car, I'd buy you, you know, a Chevelle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's just, there's just something about speed. And you would think as you get older, the need for speed doesn't matter. I just figured you couldn't feel your feet. <laughs> to be on a drag strip today you know when, when I think about um, yeah we're getting older but I swear it doesn't seem any different to me I still like all the things I ever liked I still love the 60s music I still love all this stuff and and I hope that the day I die I was laughing about that song Long Black Limousine and I said I want that done at my funeral I said, oh no and Don says oh no 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 but you know what I want my funeral to be a celebration of joy and laughter and funny and I want everybody to tell everything stupid I ever did now you'll be up there for hours yes because I've done some stupid stuff y'all and she has witnessed and can attest to most of it <laughs> and sometimes it's like I can't believe you did that and I'm like but it's funny wasn't yeah, it, it wasn't. <laughs> it was funny and that's what life is about if we can't look back at our life and laugh about it you know I've done some stupid crap, and I've and I've shared with people some of the stupid crap I've done, and I'm like, I should have known better. I should have known better. You just do what you do. The other night I was posting about the Rebel Inn, and people were commenting and commenting. And one lady said, I didn't. I recognize the building, but we used to call it. I think she said the Wobble Out. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? I know what it means. <laughs> I, thought, I know what it means. Yeah, because I thought she meant you wobbled out because you ate so much chicken and biscuits and gravy. She said, no, that's not why we're wobbling yeah. out. You know? But it's so funny. We look back on life, and it has to have been fun. And there have to be some great moments. And, and there are some amazing funny moments. There are some horrifically sad moments. But it all gets you to the place you were going. The other night I'd done something. And I said, do you have a gun on you? And they said, yeah. And I said, is it a nine millimeter or 22? They said, I'm gonna use a 22 and make you suffer. And I said, shut up. But sometimes you just have to make light of everything that's going on. You know, whatever's going on, you just gotta laugh about it. You mean like when God said, be still? And I said, no, I think he said, don't kill. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And this morning I walk out in the, to get in the car and honestly I, I would put the picture up there but it'd make y'all sick. I looked down on the ground and I thought that so was, oh. I thought so this is how my day's gonna go and I was like, no, I'm not gonna let that no. thing that happened no. with some dead something laying there ruin my day. I can't do it. Was it was only parts of dead something. It was parts of something. It was horrible. But you know, we're going to the doctor today, we're gonna get some answers today, we're gonna start the ball rolling and then I say in 90 days, I'm going to see everything come to good. Mm -hmm. It's all going to be good. It we're going to be positive. It is. And we got to say, when you start your day with Dairy Queen, it gets positive. So now, how many of y'all think that we're going to have a baby girl? And how many of y'all think we're going to have baby blue? We're going to have a baby boy. Ansley was convinced that Ansley's going to have a baby boy, and she had chosen his name, Jeremiah Kyle, and then she changed it, and then she Jeremiah this, and she, you know, couldn't make up her mind, da 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 da. Well, she couldn't make up her mind because I don't know what it's going to be, but I really do. You do. I do, and it's going to be a precious, precious little Donovan. Do we have something that we might share with people? Is there something going on? 
It's a girl! Yay! It's a girl! Yay! Yay, yay, yay! And you wore pink and I wore blue. I win. And you win. She wins the trophy. You get to go with me to the doctor today. That's what you I win. I you, that's a prize. That's a prize <laughs> That's what right you there. win. So we hope to have a healthy baby girl sometime uh, around August the 7th, August the 9th, somewhere there. So we have time to go shopping. And now Don kept saying, Mom, let's go shop, let's go shop. I said, no, we're not buying generic clothes. I said, it's a girl or it's a boy, and we're going to wait and see. So this morning at about 8.45, and thank you to the Sonogram Tech who let me be part of it, and Uncle John got to be there, and it was really cool to get to witness and to see that we're going to have a baby girl. I don't know what they're going to name that kid because the mama and the, the mama and the mama and they're going round and round with names and I'm like, uh, just, you know, I picked Ansley Elizabeth because from the moment Dawn was pregnant, I just thought Ansley Elizabeth's perfect, perfect name. Yeah, no, 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 they don't need to name it Sherry and grow up to be mean and, <laughs> <laughs> mean and wild. So, but, you know, um, this is a new start for Ansley, and many of you have prayed for Ansley, and many of you, and she said, you know, Nanny, I'm through with that part of my life. I want my life to be good, and I want this baby to have a good life. And I think that's very important. You know, it's really not as hard as some people may think it is. Mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. it truly is not. If you're walking with the Lord, He gives you the strength you need. Right. He yeah. does. This, this is weird because um, it says, You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. And that's Isaiah 26, 3. We have to trust that the Lord is going to get us through this. And it was like when Don called me and told me that Jeremiah had passed away. And I was like, oh my gosh. You know, now Ansley will have no support system, nobody to throw off, you know, and, and oh, I'm having a bad day. And oh, what am I going to do? He will never be here for his child, but maybe his heavenly soul will watch after this child. You know, maybe there's a reason. He had dealt with all kinds of health issues, and, and it just it blew my mind. I was like, how, why is this happening when Ansley's gotten her life together and everything's moving along, and then there you go. Okay, this is, God is with you. If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. Your right he's hand everywhere. will hold me fast. He's, he's, everywhere. he's everywhere. So God is with you. And, and that is, Ansley's going to be okay. Um, and to everybody who's been praying for her, and you know, she had no medical care until here we are seven months. And she now has had medical visits, and she's, um, it's very strange because um, she's 26 and never thought she would ever have kids. She's always loved kids, loves to babysit, loved, loves kids. And so God's plan is perfect. And um, there were times that um, she's like, I don't know about this, I don't know about this. But she made the right decision, and um, this baby is going to have a good life. And I, I hope that it will be healthy. Healthy, happy, beautiful, wise, wise, wise. When you think about it, where will I get it? Wisdom. It's wisdom. <laughs> Tell yeah. me more about the dad again. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, I'm teasing. Yeah. I'm teasing. Yeah. I'm teasing. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah. If when you think about the number of surprise babies out there mm -hmm. that have turned out to be some of God's biggest blessings, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, even mm -hmm. if they're not planned. Right they're still, you know, pretty special. Yep, yep. Well, we're excited, a baby girl. So yay, yay. And we did pink flowers with yellow, hoping to give y'all a clue that there were no blue flowers in there. So it's a girl, it's a girl, yay, 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 yay. Okay, tomorrow, Paul Kiker will be with me. I love Paul Kiker, and I love when he's here. He is such a good, good guy. He is. And I get messages from y'all. I get calls from y'all that you say, oh, I love Paul. I love when he's on. He's so informative. He's so, he's so, he's so cool. He's a cool dude. And um, you don't get to come as often as we need to have you here more often because you have this thing. You keep that little boy Riker on Thursday. That's the big day. That's the big deal. I save up all of my energy <clears throat> Thursday. Riker gets I it. Because I need it. Yeah. yeah Riker gets yeah. it. Y'all, he is such a joy. And he is a product of her and the craziness. I mean, she turns her bedroom into his arena. 
and he gets to do any and everything, jumping on the bed. You know when your your mama told you, don't you jump on that bed, you're going to mess up the bed springs. We have boundaries. <laughs> yeah, right. They're I'm different later. from most people's boundaries, but we do. We have yeah. boundaries. He is so blessed to have you in his life, and I thank God every single day. Yeah. That, well, it's uh, going to be hot tomorrow, so we're going to be in the water the again, pool. and that's yes. always a challenge. Yep. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll get to see her soaking wet because he does wet her. So um, thank God for the his little children. Jesus loves the little children, every single child in this world. And he says, if you want to uh, please him, come to him like a little child. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If we could be more like little children and trust him, because that boy, he trusts me, he trusts mm -hmm. you, he trusts Gigi, he trusts mommy, but mommy's the boss. Yes, He's yes. told me mommy's the boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and he just, he's so surrounded by love, and the exact same thing's going to be true with Ansley's little baby girl. Yep. She's going to be so surrounded by love, she's going to have all the people she needs to trust mm -hmm. and have that feeling of security. Yep. And yep. Uh, yeah, it's, it's exciting. Be wonderful. And I've said again, <coughs> I will say it, Ansley is so beautiful. She that is. You that. know this baby's gonna be a knockout. I can't wait to see it. Hope She's so. gonna be so pretty. I hope so. Well oh. look at her mom too. Yeah. I mean Grandma Dawn, mom, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, y'all, it's time for us to sneak out of here. We're gonna run down the road, doctor's appointment, two o'clock, say a little prayer that everything's gonna be really cool. It's gonna be good. They're gonna be slicing, dicing, chopping and getting me done. <laughs> You sound like the Waffle House. It's going to be like the Waffle House. I'm going to be smothered in covers. <laughs> I'll see you again tomorrow Bye. only on ETC. Thanks for joining us. We're going to come to you once again where rivers, mountains, and good friends meet because without your good friends, you won't make it through this old world. And uh, pick up the phone right now and call one of your friends and say, hey, I appreciate you, and I appreciate you praying for me. See you again soon. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you?